guys. There are only three things I want you taking away from this talk. Uh, small ask, who I am, where I'm from, and how these two things inform what I do. The year is 1989, I'm six, and armed conflict breaks out in Kashmir. Often described as the world's most beautiful, but also the most dangerous place. As you can imagine, the conflict would result in violence that punctuated most of my childhood and all of my adult life. And when you grow up in a con context like that, often what happens is truth comes at a premium. I remember our family huddling around a radio set almost every evening, listening to news from three different sources every night. One would be the state broadcaster, another would be the Pakistani state broadcaster, and then the third would be the truth, the BBC. Uh, a context like that would in many ways play a crucial role in me wanting to become a storyteller, in me wanting to find out what the truth is. And in areas, conflict zones are very, very dangerous places, needless to say, but in areas where access to information comes at a premium and often having information means the difference between life and death, I decided to go be a journalist, to tell these stories to get this information into the hands of those who need it the most, but have the least means to access it. What has this choice uh, meant? What has this choice looked like for me in the last 12 odd years of my professional life? It has meant that I go get a journalism degree uh, and work at a television station in Delhi for four years, telling stories like that of Tariq, a young man arrested for simultaneously being a spy and a terrorist, uh, as if he was James Bond, he wasn't. But telling his story meant that that year, his was the only trial that was upturned. He now roams a free man uh, being a fashion model. It's great. Telling the story meant that I wanted to go back to Kashmir and report from that region. I went back in 2009, the summer of 2010, felt anything but reporting the truth. 120 young people died protesting the excesses that the police and the army had inflicted on people in Kashmir. And I felt like I was an accountant of death. It was a very, very hard task. So I decided to not be a journalist anymore. Because sometimes the quest for storytelling, the quest for truth, means making that choice. So I've worked at Mercy Corps, helping young people tell their stories better, helping them with strategic communication and negotiation skills. The choice, again, in some time meant that I switched over to technology. At change.org, where I helped build a movement for anti-rape legislation, where I helped contextualize petitioning and online organizing as tools that people in India are using to demand change. That choice again meant for the last four and a half years at Twitter building tools that help citizens engage with their governments at scale, that help citizens engage with their governments meaningfully. First, in the context of emergency response, where I built, built tools that shipped hundreds of tons of material almost instantly responding to disasters, or in the form of a new service called Twitter Seva that is now being used across 15 ministries in India and Indonesia by citizens who demand service almost instantly. What this tool does is it lets any citizen across the Indian context use Twitter to complain to the government. The government is able to categorize this tweet as a complaint, assign it a priority level, and then assign it to the relevant officer. It has meant taking this tool and well and truly embedding it in the, in, in the Indian context. If any one of you were to travel to India, you could be on a train in India or you could want help from the police. This tool is going to help you with that. The choice has also meant that the last three years, I've traveled across the temples of high learning at Harvard, Yale and Stanford looking for more opportunities and entities that I, could, that I can collaborate with. 
so that our networks can come together, our skills can, can come together, and we can build more tools that can help people. In this context, that's what public service means to me. Thank you.